test, 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 test.
Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test. Test one two. Test test one two one two test, three. Test one two. Test one two. Test test. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is HSPN Live from Miramar, Florida for the second game that we've been covering this season. Ryan, we're down here. It's hectic. I'm going to be on the mic, then jump down on the camera, and you're going to send me a mic. Big matchup, 4A, Heritage Patriots against 8A, Miramar Patriots. What do we expect? Absolutely. Uh, got two great teams that are going to come out today. Got the Patriots on both sides of the ball. I think it's going to be a great matchup between these two teams. you got high-powered football. you got some great impact players that we're going to bring you today. And I want to jump right into it. I know you got some statistics to give our folks that have joined us with, with us tonight. Right. Coach Stroud told me that Durant came in, coach, quarterback, four-star quarterback. He came in from Stranahan. He also played at Miami Northeast and Miami Norland. He's a four-star recruit. Uh, one of the wide receiver standouts, and he's ranked for 247sports.com. They also said to look out on defense for Miramar because one of the best secondaries in the county with Triac Cole committed to Florida State. Kendrick McFadden, he's West Virginia commit. And Josh Mar Diaz Martinez, he's uncommitted. And Jeffrey Hill and Hubert Miller both going to Northern Illinois. He said to look out for 6'2", 235 defensive end, Brighton DeQuest to be a standout tonight as well. You'll be surprised on the other side of the ball. It was a hard-hitting game. Torrance Gibson will not be playing tonight. You got starting a Jason Brown, number 16. I'm heading down to the camera. You take over, and I'll see you in a bit. Thanks so much, Glenn. Once again, you're hearing it live here from South Florida. Finally, the sun has come out. Had a pretty muggy day down here, but you're watching it live. This is high school football, prime time, 
brought to you tonight by Bleacher.com. We thank all those that are tuned in with us tonight, and we're ready to kick off some high school football. Stay tuned with us. He's going to snap, punt it. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. He's out his feet. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're kicking the ball off. Let's get down to business. As you can see, the Patriots of American Heritage will receive tonight. The band is cranked. The people are excited. This is high school football Saturday evening. Hey, man, we are down here in the stands. Ryan, I'm right below you. This is wild stuff. Folks, if the uh, if the banner, if the camera goes shaky, well, it's because it's in the stands. If there's people jumping up, this game is a sellout. This is a double header. It started late because of a lightning delay. They had Northeast and Kathleen in earlier. Northeast and Kathleen won that game. Now here's the big game of the week. Big players, American Heritage has the ball. First down on the 20 yard line. Quarterback in for tonight's game is number 16. That's Jason Brown. As I told you earlier, I heard from the coaches, Torrance Gibson has some torn ribs, I believe. He's got a single back in the backfield, pistol set to start it out. I got the sun right in my eyes. Little counter, it looks like he's hit right away in the backfield. Yeah, Might be a loss. Pretty good tonight. I know Miramar, they are jacked up about this game. Have an opportunity to step out with Coach Strout and the Miramar Patriots. I know they're excited to come into this game. I know it's a big matchup between Miramar, American Heritage, and St. Thomas. The trio is never ending with these teams. So we're interested to see what will happen tonight on both sides of the ball. Well, Miramar comes in 1 0, beating American Heritage Del Rey last week 14 7. Heritage, if you watched the nationally televised game last week, they got a little bit of a beating down there in the Sun Life Stadium against the number one or two ranked team in the nation, St. Thomas Aquinas. There's a little off tackle play. Gets about three yards on the carry. Not back to the original line of scrimmage. And, and that was run sure. by Keyshawn Bryan, number 11. And you can hear the fans, they're fired up down here. Absolutely, I think it's important for this offense and defense to come out here right now. Not seeing two big plays coming out. Get, these coaches are getting an opportunity to see what defense is going to line up, what offense is going to line up. So you, let's see what they can put together right now. A little run off the left-hand side. That's a, number 25, Travis Jackson. He may be back to the original line of scrimmage. Well, that's going to bring up fourth down and long. And the Patriots will be punting. Three and out, Ryan. Well, I know that's not what the coaches expected coming out to start off this ball game. But, hey, you know, you got to start somewhere. Miramar, I think they have the, the edge right now. Let's see what they can do. You got number one back to receive the punt. The ball is off. And it looks like it's going to go out of bounds. It is out of bounds right at about the 45-yard line. It's 10 minutes left in the first quarter. There's no score, 0-0. Zero zero. The Patriots of Miramar will take over the ball with great field position. Hey, we want to give a shout-out right now tonight to our main viewers that have people watching us from all over the state of Florida. We've got Bleacher.com. Fans, welcome watching. We've got Florida Gridiron Preps. All of those fans watching. And we've got Florida High School football located up in Gainesville, Florida now. All those fans are watching as well. Thank you for watching us. Back to live action. They are at the 45-yard line, Miramar's ball. Trips to the bottom side, single coverage on the top. It's a zone read right off the right-hand side, and he's hit for one yard, maybe one yard. It's typical to see both these offenses. You're going to see tonight, if you haven't watched these teams before, they're going to open up the offense. They're going to have wide receivers all over the place. You're going to see an opportunity. You're going to see a bunch of quarterbacks running around tonight. There's a lot of speed out here, folks. Watch out when they catch the edge. That was Gregory McCray on the first carry, number 21. Picked up about a yard. They're going to go right back up the middle with Gregory again. He may pick up another yard. That's about it. He's hit hard in the middle by number 15 on defense. But unfortunately, we never got a roster from Heritage. So we've got some of the key players. Those are the ones we'll call out the rest. You guys can pick it up on Max Preps or 
Bleacher or Florida High School football or one of them that's got a, a roster. Here we are, live action pistol set. Looks like Miramar jump, Ryan. And I'm going to see if I can work my magic here as I'm in the booth. It gets a little hectic, but I'm going to see if we can pull up a roster for the American Heritage Patriots for you all. Well, that one's against Heritage. Encroachment, they picked up five yards on it, so it's going to bring up third down and three yards. We've got nine minutes, just under nine minutes in the first quarter. Third down and a short three. Heritage got press coverage on the outside. Cover two, quarterback keeps it right up the middle and it looks like he's got enough for the first down right over the Heritage 45 yard line, maybe down to the 44. We'll see when they end pile on. First Miramar, first down of the night. 8.28 in the first quarter. Trips to the bottom side, single coverage on the top. Zone read, give number 21. He's off the right-hand side. He's got some lien. Down inside about the 30, 30, 25 yard line. It's a great run by that running back right there. Very shifty. Saw the opening, took advantage of it. Gained some great yards right there. Nice job. That's Looking McCree. Picked up another first down for the Patriots. Quick set right up to the ball. Trips to the bottom of the side. As you can see, they got press coverage all the way across. Another zone read until they honor it. They're going to keep running it. Picked up Once about again. nine yards, Ryan. Once again, great moves by this running back. 7.46 and counting in the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero is the score. He just joined us. It was a lightning delay on the first game. That's why they're starting late tonight. Same formation. The whistle's blowing. Let's see what it is. Must be an equipment for the McCree to come out. Number 27 came in to replace him. Quarterback takes it right up the middle. Good hole. On the tackle we have number 44. That is Anthony Flory. It's like number 16. Killette. Brevet Killette in at quarterback right now. Gives his own read again. Pick up of maybe one or two. Bring up second down and about six. 6.43 remaining in the first quarter and counting. Miramar Patriots are driving just outside the 10 yard line. Heritage is confident. Their press coverage bringing their corners up. Going for the zone read again, and everybody's all over him. It's all white jerseys. That's a no-gainer. Third and nine now. Third and ten, actually. Well, it's important for the Patriots of Miramar to do something with this drive. They've had a great drive so far. I think if they don't get anything out of this, it's going to hurt them in the long run. Third and long. See if this young man, number 16, a quarterback is Kalit. He's going to throw it. He's loping one into the end zone, and it is almost picked off. I'm not sure if that was a smart one to throw. It's fourth down. It doesn't look like there's a kicker coming in, Ryan. Maybe there is. They're bringing him in right now. They're going to try a, a field goal. They've got an official timeout for a water break. As they take a timeout, we too will take a timeout. This is HSPN Sports High School Programming Network. It's being brought to you tonight by Bleacher.com.
Well, we're back to live action. Martinez is standing in there for a kick. It's going to be about a 25-yard, a 30-yard field goal from the 20-yard line. The boot is up. That boot, boot is good. Great job by that kicker. Well, it wasn't a drive for nothing. Miramar Patriots drove down the field, had some great progression with that running back, as you can see, making some great plays. I believe it was number 21 at running back. Outstanding job so far, getting down the field. Unfortunately, can't come up with the six, seven points, but the Patriots come out on top with three points with the field goal. Well, 5.45 remaining in the first quarter. As you said, Ryan, it's three to nothing. And let's see what Heritage can do. I know they've got bruised up from last week's game against St. Thomas, but let's see how they respond today. First series was three and out. Let's see what they bring back on the second series. Miramar drove the ball very well. Number one and number two, back deep for Heritage. And that is number two, Driedrich Nelson. Got an S in front of Nelson. Sorry folks, we're butchering these names too much, but we'll get them to you as best as we can. Well, they got the ball out at the 26 yard line, great field position. Patriots from Heritage couldn't convert their first possession. Let's see what they can do the second time around. Zone read right up the middle. Nothing. Unfortunately, just like the first possession, we're, we're not seeing too much of a push on the offensive line. I think it's important these, these fellas need to step up their game. Absolutely correct. 518 and counting in the first quarter. We saw them in the Dwyer game. Very hot day that day. Trips to the bottom side. Quick throw out here to the right side. He swung right away. And that's number two again. On the reception, Driedrich. Nice quick throw. Only picked up four yards. Still going to be third down at about six. Patriots on Patriots, folks. Broward County football. We're at Miramar High School. Literally only a block away from Dade County. The Dade County line. This zone read right up the middle is not going to get anything. It's going to bring fourth down in their punt team, Ryan. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. This offensive line, I don't think they have to push today. I don't know if it's because Torrance isn't in the game and the leadership is missing on the field, but something's got to happen up front with these big guys because we all know it starts with them first. Well, you know they've got a leader, Torrance Gibson, their quarterback that's out. That's probably going to be roughing the kicker, I would assume. Ball's picked up back here. I don't see any carpet. I don't see any yellow in the field. Nice run back by number five. Durant. Flags on the play. Had to be roughing the kicker. They roughed him up unless they got a piece of the ball. Looks like it's going to be holding on Miramar. Unfortunately, can't say Patriots tonight because they're both Patriots. <laughs> Got that right. Boy, it's hot. Well, five-yard penalty. They've got the ball on about the 37-yard line. They've got three points in the first quarter with 340 left in the quarter. 
bright yet yeah, bright red uniforms. A lot of college football today, folks. I know you've been watching it. We love it because at HSPN and our foundation, Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation, we've got tons of kids out there in the league. And today was very unique. Florida State, Florida, or Florida Atlantic playing Alabama. You've got two Boyd Anderson teammates playing against each other. Eddie Jackson at corner, University of Alabama, number four. And Greg Hankerson, who Ryan, you mentored, number playing six. quarterback number six at FAU. Way to go, guys. And we got them all over the place. Congratulations. We're proud of you. The HSF, HSP and families, very proud of you guys. Well, we're back to live action. They did take the total 10. There goes the ball. Wise decision. Bad snap. Quarterback really wasn't paying attention. He lost 15 on the play. That's a big loss for this offense, especially when the running, the running game's okay right now, but if they're not going to open up the passing game at all, I don't know how well this offense is going to do compared to this Heritage defense. Real, that's kill it. Number 16. He's back to throw, and he may be sacked. He's brought down. Big time face mask on the play. Number 99 on the sack, but you're right. Grab that face mask, and he's going to get an automatic first down for that. It is a face mask. It'll be an automatic first down. Well, second down and long. I mistake on that. Spot foul. Looks like it's second down and about 16 with 253 and counting on the clock. First quarter, counting down. Kill it looks like he's going to take off with it. And he's going to get mauled. And I don't think that's going to be enough. He only gains about three. He's not enough. Be about third and 13 now. He didn't make up much of it, right? Receivers well covered. American Heritage is coming in a press coverage. They're not afraid of these guys. They scouted them. They're up on them. Got a softball quarterback, and they're challenging him. Got quad down here. Let's see if somebody goes in motion. Nope, they're going to swing one out here. Got a corner that came up fast. That's a great play. It was a great defensive play. Number 13. 13 broke that up. Lead number 13 and number five. Let's get these names for you. Number five is Deonta Fair. And 13 is Christian Irving. Great job on that play. Great job of the right. One fifty five on the clock. Punt is straight up. Wow. Let's say uh, from the line of scrimmage, that was a seven yard punt. Mm. That's not good. Whistles are blowing everywhere. Penalty flags thing. down. I'll tell you one thing that we all know special teams will separate the winning team from the losing team. That's a penalty against Heritage. It's going to move them back. Give them a few more yards for that straight up in the air punt. And once again, this is high school football prime time, powered by HSBN, brought to you by Bleacher.com. Give a thanks to all our followers out there. Those from Bleacher, 
Florida Gridiron Preps and FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com. Thanks for joining us tonight from sunny South Florida where the heat is always on and the high school football is always bringing you the best action. Great field position, 42 yard line. Quick swing out here. Patriots swarm them. Number 11. A bit dangerous, got number 17 on the reception. Didn't get too much of a chance. We're gonna go Laris Nelson, number 17. Weighing in at only 175 pounds, 5'8". I guess he thought he had some boosties. So we're gonna get him over these defensive backs and he got shut down. Well, it's 112 on the clock and counting. Plenty of time. Plenty of time for the quarterback, number 16. Brown to number four. Janarvis Powell. Under a minute, actually under 35 seconds, this is probably gonna be the last play of the first quarter. All they'll have to do is swap plays, swap around. Under 30 seconds. First and 10. Zone read, quarterback keeps it. Got a pretty decent hole up the middle. That will be the last play of the first quarter. As they switch over, we'll take a quick break. You're watching HSPN High School Programming Network. Brought to you by Bleacher.com. Well, they're gonna get up quick for another one. And I don't think they're gonna get it. Nope, that's the end of the first quarter. Like I said, they had five seconds and they would have been really quick. Well, and as that wraps up the first quarter, once again, we thank you for joining us tonight. This is HSPN Sports bringing you high school football all fall. Stay tuned with us as we bring back the live action. And that'll put 12 minutes back on the clock as we welcome you to the second quarter of this Saturday night matchup against Heritage of Plantation. The Patriots going up against the Patriots of Miramar High School. Score, Miramar three, Heritage zero. Big lineup next week, folks. Don't miss the game. Booker T. Washington, Carroll City down at Traz Powell. There you go, that gives up the middle. A little bit of room, picks up three or four yards. That's a big matchup next week. We're back down in Dade County. We haven't been in Traz Powell, Ryan, since the Booker T. Washington Glade Central game. The first playoff, Booker T. walked it as they went all the way to the Citrus Bowl and beyond to the national championship. We will be picking them up not next week live at Traz Powell Stadium. Don't yes, miss sir. it. Miami-Dade football, it doesn't get much better than that. That was enough for a first down. It's first down and 10. 40 yard line gives to a big, big running back. And if you had a chance. Number seven on the carry. Shadurik, Shad, Shadurik Lowry, number seven. He had a chance this weekend to watch the Georgia Bulldogs. You'd have seen Sony Michelle coming in on that special team, knocking some people out. They put him in. First team running back for a while, did a great job. Was here at Heritage for four years. Representing the Southeastern Conference now. Second down in about five yards, 11 minutes in the second quarter. 
give is up the middle again, and there's nothing. Travis Jackson tackled for maybe one yard. It's like the Miramar Patriots jumped off sides. They're eager to get across the ball. Third down and five. 10.30 left on the clock in the second quarter. That might give them a first down. It's very close. Looks to me like he's past the first down marker. First down heritage on that penalty. I'll bring a first down with 10.31 left on the clock in the second quarter. Looking deep. Overthrows. Throws to Brandon Johnson, which is incomplete. Brings up second down and 10. Ten minutes in the second quarter. Only three points on the board. Double header on this field. Yes, sir, just earlier today, you had Northeast out here welcoming in a visitor from out of town. Playing Kathleen. Quarterback rolling to the right. Throws a short one, and he's hit big over there. Brings up third and ten. Brings up third down and ten yards. Uh, trips to the top side. Single coverage down here with press coverage. It looks like Heritage is calling a timeout, their first timeout of the night. As they take a timeout, we too will take a timeout. You're watching HSPN High School Programming Network, brought to you by Bleacher.com. And with 9.55 left in the second quarter, we have the Miramar Patriots up by three points over the Heritage Plantation Patriots. The Patriots with the ball coming up with a third and 10. Let's see what they can do here. Gonna be sacked big time. A big time play by that defense. Number 13. Like he had plenty of time. But number 13 coming in. We talk about a hit. Going to bring up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it. Great defensive call. Almost snapped over his head. 
Falcons into the end zone. It's going to come out to the 20 yard line. Keep following us all year long, folks. Game of the week every week. A couple weeks we have two of them. Also follow along as we bring you Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation. That's kdafoundation.org, the 501c3 that supports all of these young athletes. And Project Breaking Ground, Ryan, that you have during the summer and the interns that work these games for us. These are high school students working the high school football game. Give us a round to the outside. It's a long run, but I'm picked up about nine yards, almost close to the first down. Could be the first down. And he does get a first down. Nice gainer, 8.57 and counting. Second quarter. Defensive game. Give us up the middle, and he's not going anywhere. Yep, he breaks away. That's well, a big time run by that running back. Unfortunately, you got to wrap up, and if you don't, they're going to take off. That young running back took off around the corner, number 27. What a great play for the Miramar Patriots. Unfortunately, these guys, you got to wrap up. And there's a penalty on the play. Miramar looks like they're backing up. Holding. First down and 15. Eight thirty-two on the clock. Kip is another zone read. May have gotten three. Helmet comes off. Second down and 11. 30-yard line. Patriots are going to throw it. The ball is caught. Number six. And he is right there at the first down yard marker. Brings it out to about the 41 yard line, 7.42 on the clock in the second quarter. Swinging it out here to the running back and it dropped. Gotta be an incomplete pass. Number 21, got a little ahead of himself. Forgot to catch the ball before he took off running. It's going to be another Miramar first down because it's a 15-yard penalty against the Heritage Patriots. That was very costly. It now moved them into American Heritage territory into their 44-yard line. First and 10. Zone read right up the middle. Punches out for about close to 10 yards, eight yards, second and two. Power football up the middle there, Ryan. Yes, sir. Doesn't get much better than that. If you can run the ball, hey, go ahead and run it. We know these South Florida athletes, they can open it wide open, take it down the field, but the speed kills. Quarterback keeps it right up the middle. Still driving. A lot of Miramar beef pushing him along. He's got enough for the first down. 
Get a, get a snap at all those big guys close up. Some big boys up in that line of scrimmage. 300 plus. American Heritage calls a quick timeout. Say, take a timeout. We too will take a timeout. This is HSPN High School Programming Network brought to you by Bleacher.com. Six fifty-six left in the second quarter. Once again, welcome back to high school football primetime, powered by HSBN. Big run around the left-hand side in the end zone. Let's see the signal. He looks like referee's going to knock, put him down at about the five-yard line. Great run, a right, little scat back number twenty-seven for the Patriots. They gave me a roster, it goes up to 26. So I'm sorry, folks. High school football. And I know my bloggers out there, we got them covered. So I know you got my back. First and goal, they punch it in. Close. Right down to about the two yard line. Big heavies down there trying to make a wedge for the quarterback. Six twenty-five and counting in the second quarter. Miramar Patriots, eight-a football against American Heritage, four-a football. Broward County powerhouses and looks like Miramar Patriots are going to call a timeout. A little confusion. They're going to get it right because they're right down there inside the five-yard line. Once again, folks, big game next week. Be at Traz Powell Stadium. Booker T. Washington against the Carroll City Chiefs. See any vibration on those pictures? Well, we're in the stands. And so far, it's been good. These folks have been sitting. I can't believe it, Ryan. Nobody's jumping up in front of us. Well, we got one of them pounding around. I'll tell you one thing, Miramar definitely has a, a great support system out here the band's going wild the dancers are going wild the cheerleaders are getting them going it's a great atmosphere for high school football so the ball is inside the two yard line pistol set Give us right up the middle. Nope, he's throwing it here the right side, left side. It's picked off. This could go back all the way. He's over the 50, 40. He's going to take it to the house. 20, 10, touchdown. That that's quick. Nine. That's number nine, quick. Brandon, Brandon Johnson. Oh, uh, excuse me. Nick Pert. Defensive back for American Heritage. Taking it the distance, what a great job by that defensive back. That's gonna put the score six, three, American Heritage, the Patriots. And I see some yellow on the ground. We're gonna get that for you. Oh boy. And it looks like it's against the Patriots of Heritage. Oh boy, how quick it changes. Miramar at the two yard line, second and goal, ready to punch it in. Instead of going for a power running 
behind the big beef. They go for a little razzle dazzle. And he left it out there for a pickoff. That was a 98 yard, 99 yard pickoff for a touchdown, Ryan. Five fifty-nine in the second quarter. That's a big one. Fans aren't happy. We're on the Miramar side. They are not happy. Still discussing it. Okay, it's uh, unsportsmanlike contact against American Heritage for excessive celebration. Mm. They'll take it at the kickoff. So Miramar will have good field position. Refs are still talking about it. That woke me up the band next to me. Yes, sir, they have some great programs here at Miramar. That's some um, funky music, and I was wondering what the heck that was. Well, they're playing it. I think they're playing off-key on purpose. I don't know if you can pick it up. You probably got them toned out, but they're doing that against the, the kicking team. I was wondering what that was. I was looking. I'm, we're not near an airport. That was some crazy noise. Which, again, it's 5.59 in the first quarter. Right now, it stands at 6-3, to three, and American Heritage is going to run off the field now. So is Heritage. Miramar. What are they doing? Maybe the coaches want to get them off the field to see what's going on. They had a big band down here at Miramar, taking up a third of the stands. Packed house, sold out game. Lined up around the fences. So they're going to take the 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul, and they may be taking, yep, they're taking the points off the board, Ryan. Wow. I definitely talked about it long enough. I know the fans are not going to like that. Taking it off the board. Whoopee. That one is hurt. Here we go, 559, we're stuck on it. See what we got, first down and 10. Timeout, because Coach Rump probably wants to know what's going on over there. Coach Rump is head coach for the American Heritage Patriots of Plantation. Nope, it's referees are having another powwow. Well, the American Heritage will get the ball on the 41-yard line, it'll be first down. 5.59 on the clock. They're still down by three points. Big interception. Five, ten minutes ago. 99 yards run back. And because of unnecessary roughness, a personal foul before he got into the end zone, obviously, they brought it back from the spa of the foul. That is a lack of discipline. Can't give those away. Got beat up big last week against St. Thomas. Still got a chip on their shoulder, but they've got a season to play out. And they've got to get their district in strongly because it doesn't get any easier from here. They're taking record long to get this one figured out. Heritage has Jason Brown at quarterback tonight. As I said earlier, Torrance Gibson has the same storm, torn ribs from um, last week's St. Thomas game. Very humid tonight, no breeze. Those storms earlier today sucked up all that fresh air. And 
I can feel the humidity. Hey, well, I got a chance. I got to say congratulations. I had a young man last night, my oldest son, Glenn Stout, the fourth, got married to Hannah Thompson. What a wedding. What a group of kids, young men, young ladies. Ryan back there in the booth, best man. Hey, we got time. I'm going to brag about it. He's down in Dominican right now with his beautiful bride. And boy, oh boy, we were excited last night. So I know you saw an exciting game down there. Booker T. Washington took it by one point over Central. But we were doing our thing. Boca Raton, Florida. Congratulations, Glenn Stout the fourth and Hannah Lee Thompson. Well, I'd have to correct you on that. She is now Hannah Lee Stout. Hannah Lee Stout, yes. <laughs> now they're going to bring it back the other way. All right. What do we got on this one? They brought out the rule book or threw out the rule book? Because I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk. You'd like to see some high school football. Well, they're bringing it right down inside the goal line. They're going to put those points back on the board. Here we go. They put the points back on the board. Now they're going to kick the extra point again. I think these refs are a little confused. Oh, my goodness gracious. It will be assessed on the kickoff, and that's what we said about 15 minutes ago, isn't it? Okay. We got lightning delays, and now we got ref delays. Let's play ball. Yeah, folks, it's still 5.59 in the second quarter. Hope you were able to take a nice long break. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Heritage takes a lead by four points after all of that. American Heritage, seven. Miramar Patriots, three. Well, there you go. The Patriots back on the 25-yard line. 15-yard penalty was assessed back there. We still haven't moved the clock at 559 because that was an extra point. So the Miramar Patriots are going to have great field position. Turn men are up to the 20-yard line, and that's a short kick. Brings it out over the 50-yard line. Whistles all over the place. Well, we got an injured player on the sideline. They take care of this injury timeout. We'll take a timeout too, folks. Stay with us. You're watching HSPN, High School Programming Network, brought to you by Bleacher.com, Florida.
had an injured player down on the field, number 22 for Heritage. We've got a total of nine seconds taken off the clock, folks. In the second quarter at 5.59, we're at 5.50. That's nine seconds in about 20 minutes. Miramar Patriots have the ball inside the Heritage 50-yard lines. You can see first and 10. Almost picked off. Deep down the right-hand side. Great coverage. Tried to catch the corner sleep. He didn't have anything to do with it. Another whistle. Trying to see what the call is. It looks like they're going to walk it off. Are they going to call it a second down, 10 yards? The refs just love holding this game up. Got trips to the top side. He's got single coverage. Got a zone read coming to this way. Cuts back up for about three, four yards. Franklin for a gain of six. Third and four. Another flag thrown in late. 529. Stopping a clock of light with flags. Another personal foul. 15 going the other way. Lack of discipline on both teams, right? Costing them big. Great field position now. Backs them up into their own 43, 44-yard line. Brings up second down and close to 20. Very close to 20. Actually, second down and 22. Excuse me, the down counts. This is third down and 22. Check that third down and 22. 527 on the clock. Throws a quick one out left hand side. Maybe picks up two. We have fourth down and all that great field position. Picked up by Miramar, nullified with a personal foul. Put him back. It's going to give American Heritage great field position and enough time on the clock, plenty of time on the clock to put more points on the score. More points on the board. Another official timeout on the field. I'm not sure why they're taking all these delays for nothing, but they certainly are. 4.43 and counting. Bad snap. Punt is almost blocked. I don't know how he got that off. No idea how he got that off. Well, however he did, it was a great punt. It was a great punt. My goodness gracious. There were three Heritage players all over him. Well, 4.23, second quarter. Heritage with the football. 
first and 10 from their own 25 yard line. Back to throw over the middle. Receiver had it in his hands and dropped. 81 dropped that ball right in his hands. It's a big boy too. That's Nick Eubanks, number 81 for Heritage. Got to catch those balls when they hit you in the hand. 418, second quarter. Second down and 10. Zone read, nothing. Shandre Pitts on a tackle. Lowry on the run. Second down and about eight. Clock is running under four minutes. More whistles. It's going to be a penalty on Heritage. Bring up third down and 14. 341 in the second quarter. Over his head, tended for number two. Didrick Snell, bring up fourth down. Looks like a lot of miscues, Ryan. A lot of, uh, it almost looks like a preseason game, not like they've been in camp all summer and got a couple games under the belt with these penalties and personal fouls. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. And, and that, I believe it goes for both sides of the ball. And I hear a Heritage coach out <laughs> shouting out, we're missing a guard. Um, maybe they left him home on the bus. Nice kick. Great field position. They should have the ball inside their own 40. 3.23 on the clock with the second quarter. We might just get out of this quarter. It seemed from the get-go, all this run in the ball. We were gonna get out of here pretty early tonight, but with these refs, it may be another long night. Well, these refs and these uh, the players that are three or four personal fouls. And yeah, the refs did take a very long time on that one call. 15 minutes. Well, Heritage has, uh, Miramar has the ball. Another whistle, blown. Blowing the ball dead. Offsides. Heritage be first and five for Miramar. A lot of mental miscues. These are all mental miscues. Back to throw. Throws a dart. Almost picked off. I'm not sure where he's throwing it. Well, the fans don't like it. Not sure if you can hear them, but Miramar fans want to change that quarterback. 
Just had his helmet torn off. The tough crowd. It was a very tough home crowd. And the coaches succumbed to the crowd. They changed the quarterback, Ryan. Wow. Never seen that happen. Wow. I believe since his helmet came off, he has to come out of yeah, play. Yeah, he does have to come out for a play. Well, it made him happy. It made him feel like they uh, they made the change. They're going to be very unhappy when he got his helmet strapped up and he goes back in. Second down and third down and for, well, nine yards. Penalty is going to probably be delay a game. New quarterback coming in and out. It's third down. Looked like that Simpkins that came in. Demiri, Damari Simmons, Simpson, Simpkins. I'll get it right. It's like third down and 15, 14 or 15. 222 in the second quarter. It's going to come out there on the first play and either give his own read or he's going to let him throw it. Nope, his own read and he's going to take the ball. Nice little move inside. Out, picked up about seven or eight yards. See if they stay with him. Nope, they brought him out. Fourth down anyways, they're gonna punt the ball. Fourth and six. Beautiful sunset over there, Ryan. Well, I'm interested to see once they come Back in from the half. Which quarterback they're gonna have on the field? I got a feeling they're gonna have a new quarterback. Almost snapped over his head. Nice high punt. Not dead until the whistle's blown. Be first and 10 for Heritage on their own 30 yard line. 204 left. In the second quarter, these last three minutes and a half have taken about 40 minutes. Heritage comes right out on the field. Lines up quick. See if they're going to try to put some points on the board. Or are they going to try to run the clock out? That's a zone read. Picked up about four yards. That was Travis Jackson. Picks up about two yards. Heritage. Wow, and a great catch by number two, and he's still fighting in the double coverage. We've got Snelson on the reception. That was a great catch. Great catch in double coverage. And I think we might be right for the quarterback change to see number six down here. He's getting his arm warmed up. And we apologize after that, folks. We're in the stands, and that shot was a stand shot with people. American Heritage is on the move. 52 seconds and counting. Not calling a timeout. They may not have one. We're getting ready to come inside 40 seconds. We're inside of 40 seconds. Coming inside of 30 seconds. Almost picked off. 22.5 seconds throw. Very dangerous throw by that quarterback. May have one more play. Maybe two. 
They've got two remaining, third down. Distance doesn't really matter. Down in at the 20 yard line. 22 and a half seconds left. Can they put any more points on the board? There you go, breaks it up the middle. And that's a big time run by number 11. Oh, that's number two, Ryan. Number two. Oh, you're right, I'm sorry, number 11. Number, Absolutely. Number 11, that is Kaishan Ryan on the run. And Heritage is calling a timeout with only seconds left on the clock. And as, we, as they take a timeout, we too will take a timeout. You're watching High School Programming Network live from South Florida. Stay tuned. And we're back to live action with only seconds left on the clock. Heritage, what can they do? 14.4 Four, seconds. I got a feeling they're gonna go to the back pylon. Wow. Way out of bounds, but. Second and goal down with nine seconds left. Almost threw it in back in there in the band. They're at the six yard line. Threatening to put more points on the board. Once again, we thank you for tuning in tonight to HSBN Live from South Florida, bringing you some great football teams, the Patriots of Heritage and the Patriots of Miramar. We're gonna see if Herrick Heritage can put it through the uprights as they go into this halftime. Make sure you stay tuned with us as we kick it off in the halftime. I'm sure Miramar Patriots are going to bring one heck of a band performance. Make sure you stay tuned with us. We thank you for watching. We do, that'll bring the score 10 to three with five seconds left. So they're gonna get a kickoff return. More than likely be a squib kick. And who knows? We've taken five seconds to about 15 minutes. It's almost like the NBA playoffs. <laughs> Big band coming out. We're gonna give you a chance to see them. Both bands are here tonight, both American Heritage and the home team Miramar Patriots. Uh, we'll get you to get them um, on for you. And we'll take a break, but we're gonna keep it on live with them so that we can show those band members off as well. We'll try to get those cheerleaders for the Patriots, which are on our sideline as well. Now here we go, five seconds left. They're gonna kick it off. They have a dangerous deep return man. We're gonna find out. Squeak Pip. He's gonna run it all the way out. That's the end of the first half. That'll bring the score. American Heritage 10, Miramar 3. Once again, this is High School Game Day, brought to you by Bleacher. You're watching South Florida football at its best. American Heritage Plantation has come to the Miramar Patriots, to their house. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, th we thank you for tuning in tonight. We hope you stay tuned. Also want to give a shout out to all of our guys out there, Bleacher.com. For those of you tuned in from Bleacher, we thank you. And we thank you for your support, Florida Gridiron Preps. Once again, we thank you all as well. And last but never least, 
FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com. Ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. Bands are lined up, getting ready to go. We're going to put Heritage out there first. Enjoy it.
marching band Virgil Bow, so give them a round of applause as the Miramar High School marches into the explosion. Your Patriot, I'm sorry, Soldier Band from Patriot Land brings it all. You might want to get out of the way, too. There's a good coming up right there. The Sand Sweethearts. Brings up first and ten for the Patriots. Down inside the Heritage. 40 yard line. Zone read right up the middle, left hand side. 71. 71 pull. 71 pull. Second down. About five yards. 36 yard line. Miramar with the ball. Zone read off the right hand side, big hit. Picks up about three yards. Third down and two. Same thing, same thing, same thing. 
Don't read nothing. Matter of fact, quarterback has it off the left-hand side. Cuts to the outside. That's number six. He takes it down inside. Close to the goal line. It's a touchdown for the Patriots. On a 35-yard romper for the Patriots. They take it, and they take it big. And an outstanding run by number six, the new quarterback in the game. We talked about it earlier. Who was coming in after the half? He came in, Damari Simpkins. The fans made the call. And there you go. Second play from series. They bring it in. Wow, that was quick. Kick is up and it's good. And that ties up the score, 10-10. The Patriots take on the Patriots. Once again, we welcome you back to hspnsports.com. We're glad you tuned in with us tonight. We got one heck of a lineup for you. High school football prime time powered by HSPN. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bleacher. Game day, Miramar Patriots. Heritage Patriots. 4A against 8A, Broward County. Powerhouses. Patriots will kick off. Made it quick, quick work of it. Glad to have you back with us. We hope you enjoyed the bands from halftime. They put in just as much work as those football players. Here we go, the Patriots from Miramar kicking off the ball from their own 35 yard line. Kick is into the end zone, automatic touchback. Heritage will bring the ball out to the 20 yard line, first and 10. Glad you joined us tonight. Big game on Saturday night, doubleheader here at Miramar's Field down here about a block away from Dade County. Patriots are back. Heritage's gonna throw it, but he's sacked for about four yard loss. Quarterback number 16, Jason Brown. And I, I think from the looks of it, both teams came out today struggling on both sides of the ball. Offense, it's been a little difficult for both teams. Uh, we got a momentum changer tonight though. The Miramar Patriots with their new quarterback taking it down the field, putting some points on the board, tying it up 10-10 with just 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Second down. Like. Incomplete pass. It's a fucking running play. Bring up third down. 20 yard line. Put, put Eubanks in. Eubanks in. Let's go for casting. Let's go. 233. Third down and long. <clears throat> I 
Carradine's 25-yard line, single back in the backfield. Steps up into the pocket. He's going to take off to the right-hand side. He slides down in there about the 37, 38-yard line. Penalty flag is down. Might be a late hit. Yeah, that defensive back came in. He could obviously tell the quarterback was going to slide, and he came knifing in. Good thing he missed him because if he would have landed that punch, it probably would have put a hurting on him. Well, they call it, uh, I believe it was a holding call, Ryan. Oh, well. On Heritage, where the referees are going to talk about it again. It's either third down and short or they're going to bring him back 10 yard spot foul. We'll see what they have after this conference. We appreciate it. All you fans watching today, Bleacher.com, that's B-L-E-E-C-H-R.com. All of you fans from Florida Gridiron Preps, FloridaGridironPreps.com, and all of you fans watching from FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com, that's FloridaHSFootball.com. Thanks for watching the live broadcast all over the state of Florida, all over the nation, and also to all the coaches that we blasted out earlier today. Watching your favorite players, recruiting some of these players. Well, we appreciate you watching and sporting HSPN Network as well. Well, that was 10 yard walk off against Heritage. Back to 25 yard line. Quarterback throws it over the middle, it's a catch. Brings it out to about the 44 yard line. That's a nice catch by number two. That's Diedrich Snelson. Picked up about 15 on the play. Bring up about third down and seven. Got a twin set, single back in the backfield. Step up, but he's sacked. It's a ball's on the ground. See if it's a live ball. Looks like Miramar may have recovered it. What is he doing, Saraceno? Miramar does recover it. Big turnover. You can Let's see the feel, signal. Definitely feel the frustration in the box. We apologize why, for the language. Saracino, Just throw the Miramar ball. does get the ball on that turnover. Quarterback's got to fall on it. That was a sustained drive that was canceled right out quick on a fumble. Miramar gets the ball back, and they've got the momentum. They scored on two plays. Ryan coming out of the first half. Brand new quarterback. I think we see momentum change in both these teams. Unfortunately, coming out of halftime, American Heritage doesn't look like they made too much changes. Uh, Momentum-wise, they just they haven't had a push tonight from the front line. Uh, quarterback wise I don't know if he's gotten enough reps to, to be out here as a leader now on the other hand Miramar we'll see what this new quarterback can do number six let's see if he can put some more points on the board Damari Simpkins back to throw gonna roll out to the right hand side he's got room wow it should have been picked off throws it right right in the hands Gosh. the defender we'll get, we'll get his number when he turns around that's Number 13, that is Christian Irving, right in his hands. Would have been a big turnover. I'm not sure if I even saw a receiver out there, Ryan. I'm not sure either. I don't know what decision or what was going on in his head to make him throw that ball. But that puts us just over nine minutes left in the third quarter. The score is 10-10 if you're just joining us. The Miramar Patriots come into this half, the second half of this game down with a new quarterback change momentum has turned he's taking it down the field unfortunately right now they're going the wrong direction another flag well it looks like they got trips to the bottom side dermichi has got him up to the line of scrimmage this time single back in the backfield looks like another personal foul moved him back back to their own 45 yard line Take the zone read. Throws a little pass over the half.
pass here. Looks like they moved Simpkins out, if that's number six, to the outside. Looks like we got maybe some cramps. Or, or gain, of number, gain of 18. Wow, what a great play. Quick screen bubble pass to the right. Came out here today, host, uh, uh, I believe, a school from out of town. We didn't get the name. Kathleen. Kathleen. I was down on the field, and uh, Northeast had a chance at it. They uh, picked the ball off, and they had uh, over two minutes left inside the 20-yard line, but they couldn't convert. There's your kickoff. It's going to be into the... Spe well, Speaking of Northeast, another star player we had a chance to cover on our high school sports review. Stacy Coley of the U now, wearing the number three, had an opportunity to come out and cover him, not only on the field, but off the field. Outstanding young man, student athlete, is doing great things at the University of Miami. Had an opportunity to check him out the other night. Teamed up with a new freshman quarterback, trying to show off his true colors and his talents. But nevertheless, Stacy Coley, University of Miami representing Northeast High School all day. And there you go, Heritage has the ball. First and 10 on their own 20 yard line. And we got another penalty on the field, a false start on the offense. That'll be American Heritage. And I think we got something going for this Miramar Patriots defense. They are excited. They are in their head. Oh, and a snap over the head of the quarterback. Slides down. Wow. And from One yard line. It, oh my. The fans are praying for a safety, but I don't think they're gonna get it today. Over the head of the quarterback. The center snaps it over his head, unfortunately. Hit the quarterback's hands, had a chance to catch it, but it is not looking good for American Heritage right now. Yeah, no, 10 personnel. Patriots of Heritage backed up on their own one yard line. Three step drop. Drop for a ball's loose. Is it live? Incomplete pass. I haven't heard Whistle's whistle. not blown. We didn't hear any whistle, but the refs, they're trying to figure it out. Quarterback tried to get rid of it. I don't know if there was anyone in the area. There wasn't. He looked like he threw it right in the dirt too, Ryan. He was yeah. under a lot of pressure. He had two defenders on him. He was almost out of the back of the end zone, and he got rid of the ball, and they're going to call it. Uh, looks like they're going to call it a safety if there was no receiver anywhere in the vicinity. And that is a safety call by the white cap. The Patriots of Miramar High School. Coming out of nowhere, halftime must have been, Coach Coach Straub must have had a great halftime speech because these guys are fired up, made a couple changes coming into this half, but you talk about putting some points on the board fast. Where was this team in the first half of this football game? Once again, 6-16 left in the third quarter. We got the Miramar Patriots over American Heritage Patriots, 19-10 in the third quarter. We're going to get a chance to see the offense. Shoot, they get to go back out on the field again. Yeah, they're going to get it with good field position because they're right. going to punt it from the 20-yard line or kick it off. It's their choice. Folks, we can realize the stream is fluctuating and your picture's coming in and out. We apologize for that. There's really nothing we can do. The, the, the bit rate up is slowed down tremendously the second half. And... Um, Stay with us. We've got it recorded. And we just came back in. Miramar just got a safety. They're up 19 to 10, and they're kicking off. Not only are they pumped up on the field, these stands are going nuts. Got to love to see the support of the Junior Varsity football team. I think they got the whole team out here. 
And the Patriots kick it off. Deep kick. Very deep kick. Hits it at the 20. Try to pick up that wall. He hits back up the middle and big hit up to the 30 yard line. It's dangerous for these young men. I, I, I don't like seeing when they leave their feet. You know, they watch these guys on Sports Center top 10 where they're jumping over these guys. It's very dangerous at this level. This is high school game day, HSPN, brought to you by Bleacher. Bleacher.com. Saturday night football, right down here on the border of Dade County. Saturday night football meaning not only, hopefully we catch a game, a college game. I believe FSU's playing tonight, number one team in the nation. Miramar back with the ball on their own 30 yard line. Oh, we've got another flag on the field. Looks like an offside on the offense. It's gonna back up the Miramar Patriots a couple more yards. Taken away from their pretty good field position. Still just over six minutes left in the third quarter. Miramar up 19 over Heritage. We got trips to the bottom side, single coverage on the top. Trying to get him to jump off sides. Going to swing it out to the right again. Whoa, good move. Picked up about five yards. Bring up second down and five. Five forty-five and counting in the third quarter. Miramar's up 19 to 10 with the ball at the 30 yard line. Quarterback's gonna take it up the gut, had to get outside, it's gonna take a slide. Number 12 checking on him, making sure, letting him know, hey, you may be fast. Once I get a hold of you once, you're not gonna wanna run again. I think that was a pretty good decision by that quarterback out there, number six. Damari Simpkins, he's a quarterback, 175 pounds. That's a junior from Miramar. Not sure why they didn't open up the game as a starter. I believe the other quarterback has been starting the previous games. Not sure how much playing time this young man has had, but he is sure putting on a show for us tonight. Three-step drop. Sidearm's a little one over here and the ball's caught. Looks like it's over the 40 yard line. If they're gonna give him the reception. Nope, they say it's not a completion, incomplete. It brings up fourth down. They're gonna punt it back to the Heritage Patriots. Heritage needs to do something with the ball this series. Deep into third quarter, gotta get some momentum back. Throwing the flag on the field. 4.44 in the third quarter. Gonna push the Patriots of Heritage back just a little bit, give this punter a big chance to boot this thing down the field. And when you get a chance to see, we got not only number one back to receive again, but they brought number four just to give him a little bit of support. And got another flag on the field. Wow, whistle's blown again. A lot of mental errors tonight. Yes, yes sir. So another one against Heritage, and it's gonna give him a first down, bring the offense back in the field. I'm not sure what's going on with, uh, with uh, the Heritage players, but there's a lot of mental errors going on down there tonight. I don't think I've ever seen this in a game in my life. Two penalties, bringing up a first down. 444, still in the third quarter. Miramar 19, Heritage 10. Offense gets another shot. First and 10 out at their 45 yard line. They didn't have to do a thing but set, get set up. Damari is behind with a single back in the backfield. Trips on the top side, he gives his own read off the left side. This is number 20, big hit by number 44 on Heritage, makes a tackle. 
And you can see the frustration not only up here in the box, but on the field as well. I'm sure these players. Andrew Flory, I bet that's Flory that's uh, playing in college right now. His, I bet you that's his brother. Bring up second down and long. Damari's got this offense going. Coming from the outside, Damari's going to make a decision, see if he makes the edge. He's not going to. Gets a good block. Slides down at about the 41-yard line. He's well contained. Brings up third down and long, about 14 yards. Good containment by Heritage defense. They came in off the edge and forced him to the outside. And then their corners came in and contained him well. Third and long, we'll see what the young quarterback can do. You know he's going to have to throw it. And he's limping around a little bit, Ryan. Yeah, I see that. I think he may have tweaked something taking that slide on that last play. And they're going to go to a timeout on the field. And as they take a timeout, we too will take some time. Once again, you're watching HSPN. Third quarter of this outstanding game. Got three minutes, just over three minutes left in the third quarter. Stay with us. And we're back to live action. Third down and long for Damari. Got an empty backfield, trips to the top side. Couple step drop, throws a quick slant. Number three, nothing. That's Kalil Lewis. Defense swarms him. Held him, gonna hold him to a punt. So that safety only got them two points. They kicked it. They're going to get it back, but it's very important from now on. Heritage take control of the ball and get some points on the board. Mentally, they've got to get back in this game. Yes, they do, and that's going to keep the clock running. Just over three minutes left. This punter is going to get another chance. Can number one redeem himself? Scott, number four, standing back there with some support. Great punt. Heritage takes the ball dangerous, but he gets it at the nine yard line. Wow. There was about seven defenders around him, and if he had dropped that ball, it'd been good field position, but that was heads up ball. A lot of mental mistakes, like you said earlier, in this game, and I don't know if it's just an off day or, just to be honest, this team, it, it, it doesn't look very mature as it did last year. You don't have a lot of maturity out there, and who knows, can it be the quarterback because he's not in the game today? They're that could have an effect, and it, they may have had a hard uh, week. Uh, Coach uh, Rump, I'm sure that he was in their ear for the for the beating they took down there on national TV. Well, here we go. They've got the ball first and ten. And it looks like Torrance is in the game, and he is the lefty number six is in the game. I guess his ribs are That's feeling picked a bit off. Better. That might be picked off for a touchdown, Brian. Oh my goodness. First play of the game for Torrance and number 11. Number, number 11 is Denzel King, the linebacker. He picked the ball off, got the signal. And they score on that. Wow. First play from scrimmage for Torrance Gibson. Torrance comes in for one play and he loafs it out there. And boy, it bit him. Bit him hard. Holy mackerel. And that's going to bring the score. Oh, no, I don't believe they scored. Well, they're lining it up, so they didn't score. They're down inside the five-yard line. And as you can see, we still got that fullback in the game, which everyone likes to see. High formation. Power football. He's going to take it from under center. Good Nothing. 
good, penetra good penetration from this defensive line. Inside the two yard line, Ryan. Well, the clock still runs just over two minutes. 19 to 10, this could hurt. This could. This could be the game changer right here. We've seen a lot of excitement in this game so far. They decide to put their their uh, their number one guy back in the game. Hopefully, he's feeling a bit better. Second down and goal, I formation. Off tackle to the left-hand side. He looks like he may have gotten it in. And we just need a big push. As you can see, big boys up front, number 71. Refs aren't gonna give it to him. He's gotta be close, third down and inches. We got some big matchups up front with these guys. As you can see, these linemen, you got the beef package in the game. And I think from the looks of it, we got some guys on the ground trying to get them back up. Throw it and goal with inches. Got that eye formation. They're going to go power football, pounding it off the uh, ball's loose. And it looks like the quarterback's going to Quarterback take it took in. it to the left-hand side. Yes, sir. That's a touchdown, Miramar Patriots. What has happened to the Patriots? Torrance Gibson comes out on the first play, throws an interception. They get the ball on the three-yard line, and the young junior quarterback that they brought in, Damari Simpkins. Looks like we got a little conversation from the refs. Well, American Heritage oh, is jumping up and down, so something else has happened. Might have to take some points off the board. See oh, what it is. Got a flag on the field. American Heritage is signaling like it's their ball. Maybe Damari fumbled the ball before he got into the end zone. And they got a 15 yard penalty. We'll wait and see. These referees have had a lot of powwows tonight. Yes, they have. About 20 minutes for a Thought it was going to be a quick one tonight coming into this first quarter. That clock ran and it ran. Both of these offenses came out on the field pounding the rock. Didn't find too much success, but we got through that first quarter in the nick of time. One minute, 10 seconds left in the third. Continue to have their discussion. Here we go. And they called the unsportsmanlike conduct against Miramar, but we still haven't figured out. I'm guessing it was a fumble confirmed. There's no replay in high school unless they come up Checking the booth. That's, that's a touchdown. The After the play, unnecessary roughness will be okay. penalized on the kickoff. Yeah, they'd have to come up here. We have the recording. Yes, we do. <laughs> and again, folks, we can see the stream. We're getting a speed up and down, so be patient with us. We do have the recording, but I know you want to see it live. And we're with you with one minute left in the third quarter. And Miramar good. Patriots take a turnover by Torrance Gibson, first play of the game. Yes, throws sir. A, throws a balloon out there and it gets picked, Ryan. Yes, sir, 25 points on the board for the Miramar Patriots with just 10 for American Heritage. Unfortunately, fresh pair of legs came in. Torrance Gibson, the man we all know, came in. I guess he wasn't warmed up. <laughs> well, or his ribs were hurting bad. Yep. This is High School Game Day, brought to you by Bleacher.com. High School Production, High School Programming Network, Miramar against American Heritage. Great game next week. We got the matchup. Tras Powell Stadium, Booker T. Washington, Carroll City. Carroll City is at home. 
be good to be got, get back into Trask Powell Stadium. We haven't been down there, like I said, since the Booker T. Washington Glade Central playoff game last year. And it is through the uprights, and that's going to give us a 26-point lead. Excuse me, 26 points on the board for Miramar and only 10 for American Heritage. 16-point lead, just over one minute in the third quarter. We're about to step into the quarter that counts the most, the fourth quarter. You will see these players throw their fours up, and we'll see what they put together. American Heritage yet to receive any momentum on their side of the ball. And number two and number one back to receive this kickoff from the Patriots of Miramar. And who knows who's gonna step out next. As I'm looking over to the sidelines, it looks like Torrance Gibson, number six, is strapped up, ready to go to redeem his first play from scrimmage. I'll tell you one thing. If only we had a camera. Let's see if we get a camera shot on this band. Because they are taking this to a whole nother level. <laughs> Working it hard. They got that whole section over there. Yes, sir. Great programs over here at Miramar High School. Cheerleaders, the dancers are out here. The whole community's out here to support. It's just a great day of football. Here we go, backed up to the 20. After that penalty, 25 yard line. Decent kick, nice and high. He fielded. Good run by number two, right up the middle. Yes sir, you can see it. Diedrich Snelson. They're excited. We wait to see the offense that comes out on the field and who their, excuse me, who their leader is. And it looks like Mr. Torrance Gibson has entered the game once again. Can the Patriots put some points on the board, change the momentum a little bit in this game? They sure do need it after a tough loss. St. Thomas Aquinas, we're approaching just seconds left in the game. With a minute two on the clock. The third quarter. Yep, third quarter. Miramar up 16 points. And hyped up. Well, Torrance has had three quarters to think about it. Whether he's got bad ribs or not. Let's see if he can bring this team back and get the momentum going. Zone read right up the middle. Picks up about seven yards. Nice pop. Number seven, that's said Lowry. Number 25 on the tackle. Romello Webster on the tackle. Give me Travis, Travis, Travis. And we're just approaching 30 seconds Travis. left on the clock. They're gonna go with the zone read again. Right up the middle. Close to the first down. Looks like they got a push up front. Probably coming up to set up the, the pass play. It's another said Lowry run. Very close to the first down. The refs are gonna take a little time for themselves again. Oh, no, I think it's a timeout. With just two seconds, 2.8 seconds left on the clock, we've got 26 points for Miramar Patriots over American Heritage with only 10 points. We're creeping into that fourth quarter and who knows what could happen next. Both teams coming out a little soft in the first quarter, first half I should say. Went into halftime, the band cranked it up, got the people going, but only the Patriots of Miramar came out to play. Yeah, Ryan, 26 to 10, they'll have a fourth quarter, but 
they've got to get something going. It's uh, only 16 point game, two touchdown, two touchdown game. And if Torrance can get these guys lit up. And we're gonna get another whistle blown on the play. You gotta love high school football. Trying, okay, trying to change the clock. I'm saying there's 23 seconds left on the clock. We'll get that changed. Try it again. Trips to the top side. You got single coverage down here. Zone read, big hole. There he goes. Keyshawn's going to break it. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown. American Heritage, no flag. And he runs into the darkness. That's a 50-yard run. Zone read off the right-hand side. Torrance may have sparked his offense. No dirty laundry on the field. How about that? Now they're only down by... Depends on what kind of conversion they go for, Ryan, and that probably took up all of the rest of the quarter. Yes, it did. Still showing nine seconds. They must have put a bunch on the clock. Nice 50-yard scamper. They're going to go for one point. Kick is up and oh. it's good. Nope, it's no good. They're calling no good. And what do you know? Wow. Heritage put some points on the board. Cannot convert. The Still extra down points. for a 10, Ryan. That's not good. 10 points. That's a big swing. Now that it's still a two touchdown. It's right. still a two score game. I was going to say, if they made that conversion, they'd only be down by a touchdown and a field goal. Well, well Torrance did wake him up. Yes, he did. They needed a spark. And we don't know if it was Torrance. We don't know what happened, but he was in the game, and they put some points on the board. Number 11, what a great run. They'll need to get the ball back. They'll need to get something, momentum going again and see if Torrance can do it again. But the first thing they're going to have to do is stop the Patriots of Miramar from scoring again. Gonna boot one deep down the field. Gonna turn into a touchback. And once again, the Miramar Patriots will take possession. And I believe we still have nine seconds left on the clock, and we're approaching the third quarter or the fourth quarter. Excuse me. We'll get into the fourth quarter. One of these days. Miramar with the ball on the 20 yard line. Mari with the ball, he hands it. Boy, he is stuffed up there. They've got the defense fired up. He might be a loss of one on that one, Ryan. And a big time hit by number five on the defense. And that'll open up the fourth quarter. Deontay Fair, number five. Yes, sir, zeros on the clock and fingers in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the fourth quarter. Once again, this is HSPN High School Programming Network bringing you high school football live every week. Tonight, you get to witness Miramar Patriots of South Florida take on American Who points on the board. You got 26 over 16, and the Miramar Patriots got the momentum going. 
We got you, Ryan. We got you on the camera too, baby. Bring it all the way down to the other end of the field. Quarter. Damari's got him up 20 yard line. I'm in a long time we got to witness an option play. Well, they had the speed to do it. It looks like they didn't gain anything on the play, but that clock is running. He's gonna throw it out to the left. Nimped. It looks like it was a little short. High school punter yet that has put a spiral on the ball like this young man has. Well, still down by 10 points. That ball came awful close to hitting the back of a herd. Him fired up, get some points on the board quick. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, or the receiving side, I should say. Uh, ball. Well, Heritage with the ball. Let's see if Torrance can do. Press coverage under Lee. Torrance is back. He's going to take run, off. Run! Run! Throws it outside, and he throws a short ball. And it's going to hit the ground before it hits number four wide receiver in the hands. And coach is behind us yelling, run. Dirty run. carpet on the field, probably holding. It's at the line of scrimmage. 53. 53. That's what happens. Hey, you got a quarterback that can make plays outside of the pocket. I mean, what, what's happening out there? You, you know, you're thinking a play three seconds long. He's extending the play. Things are going to happen. So what do you know? You're going to get a holding call from these guys. Backside hold. There could be benefits, and there could also, also affect the play negatively. And as a result, it has right now. And once again, we see this American Heritage football team offense step up to the plate hoping for a miracle to happen. They've lost it against St. Thomas on national television. Now, last thing they want to do is lose it over HSPN with just 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter of play. We got American Heritage down 10 points. And the refs once again getting a chance to talk about what's going on on the field. Yeah, they've been holding it up nicely. Slowed the game down tremendously. 26 to 16 in the fourth quarter. I'll tell you one thing. This band has not stopped playing since the game started. Reminds me of the Soul Bowl. You can definitely see a lot of potential out here today on all sides. Not just the ball, but off the field as well. Grooming these young women young men and women for success on the next level. It may be sports, it may be dance, it may be band, who knows, but. Nice 10 yard gain, Ryan. Zone read off the left hand side, quick pop. They're gonna need more than that. They gotta get a bunch of points on the board. Gotta get it in twice. Yeah, two possession game. Unfortunately, didn't come up with the, the conversion for their last touchdown. Once again, special teams falling just short of the expectations of tonight's American Heritage football team. They're gonna bust it right up the middle and we're gonna see a no gain, number 52, excited down there on the field. Stuffed him quick. Gonna bring up fourth down. They're gonna go for it. Fourth and three. Oh, and they're gonna make them jump. We got penalty flags, dirty laundry all over the field, and a successful call by the coach. Great execution by the offense, American Heritage. It's gonna move the ball forward and turn that four into a one. Just under 10 minutes in the fourth quarter. Saturday night football, high school football, doesn't get much better than this. One of the biggest games in Broward County tonight. We got a packed house on both sides of the ball. 
Torrance got a single back in the backfield. Zone read right off the left-hand side. Big hole. He's going down the left-hand sideline. And we got another penalty flag on the field. He stays in bounds. The clock will run. Outstanding play by number 11. What is happening? Brings it inside the 10-yard line. That was Keyshawn Bryan. Big hole off the left-hand side. Great blocks by the interior lineman. Penalty is going to be against Miramar, so they're going to be in scoring position. They can punch one in quick, Ryan, right here. They got plenty of time to take this one out front. Nine minutes, 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They're only down by 10. And they got plenty of time. They got plenty of time left in this game. So, oh, we got a face mask on the defense, which is going to add a couple more yards to that great place. Already, number 11 taking it down the field. Torrance Gibson with the zone read right up the gut. Big boys on the left-hand side. There's a lot of beef over there pushing. Miramar's band's fired up, although they're on the wrong side of the field. It's not going to affect them. And once again, they go right up the gut. And you're right, this band has cranked it up. They know when to come in. I love this music director. Yeah, you know how this is when they crank up next to us on Traz Pal. Oh my gosh, you can hardly hear yourself think, but I'm amazed how you can keep the you can keep the audio so the, the fans can't hear it, because we certainly can hear it. In here I can go with one headset. We switched out, folks. Ryan went outside because it's about 150 degrees in the sauna. I could take the heat. He let me come inside. Heritage is threatening inside the 10-yard line now. Zone read off the right-hand side. Touchdown, Heritage. Reach out and touch that goal line he has. He did touch the goal line. Did they give it to him? Looks like the line judge did give it to him. There's six of them, Ryan. We're still waiting. Well, the line judge down the left-hand side gave the signal it was a touchdown. Well, we got the points on the board already, so. Kicker's lining up. I guess they're going to jump to it. Once again, no review in high school football. 8.58 on the clock. Heritage scores. Let's see if they can convert on this one. They'll need it. Kick is up and it's good. And it's good. And with that one, it will leave American Heritage Plantation just three points shy of tying it up with the Miramar Patriots. Once again, you're watching High School Programming Network, hsbnsports.com. Live out here, Saturday night football. What an opportunity to come out here. Just want to give a shout out, Coach Strout, welcoming, welcoming us to this very old box where we can't get up on the roof, but at least the air conditioner and the lights work. Very well. And we want to also give a shout out to Coach Rump and his coaching staff as well, running a great program. Unfortunately, not showing up on the field tonight, but overall, Love to work with the American Heritage Plantations as well as the Patriots of and Miramar High School. We also want to thank High School, FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com and all their fans for watching tonight, as, long, as well as Florida Gridiron Preps and Bleacher.com. Thank you for streaming us, and thank you for your fans to be patient with those erratic streams that we get. But we are live, and it is high school football. And he's going to muff the kickoff return, number one. He's going to let it ride into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Tarek Cole, he's a defensive back. He's a senior. And they'll get the ball out at their 20-yard line. It'll be a very important set of downs for the Patriots of American Heritage to hold them on this. Yes, they will. It's very important right now. They need to understand and they need to articulate to this quarterback that time management is key at this point in the game. You go down there and you score too quick, you're gonna give the offense for the American Heritage the ball. You know, give them, give them some more time. Time management is key right now and knowing to progress down this field and need to put some points on the board to secure this W. 26 to 23, we're in the fourth quarter. Damari gives the ball off. Running back cuts back inside. Picks up some nice yardage. Also running that clock, which is real important. Picks up about seven yards. Six yards. More importantly than that, Ryan, he's running that clock. Clock is at 8.41 and counting.
They moved it back to a five yard game, brings second down and five. Damari's got a single back in the backfield. Gives off tackle, hit big. Big hit by a Heritage player, called dead, but it did pop out. That running back was number 21, Gregory McCray. He got hit hard as he met the line of scrimmage. Clock is running just under eight minutes. Three point game. Got some of the Heritage players on the field waving their hands up and down, just getting excited, trying to get their fans fired up. They can feel a little bit of a momentum shift. High school sports at its best in Miramar, Florida. Brought to you by HSPNSports.com. Damari's under center now. He's going to have the Miramar Patriots probably calling a timeout because he got confused. They're going to come to the sideline. 7.33 on the clock. Three-point game, folks. The Heritage is making a comeback, and it's going to be a tight game. Yes, sir. The momentum has changed constantly throughout this game. Outstanding job by both, both teams. Uh, this second half, especially this fourth quarter. The momentum has shifted most definitely. As you can tell, the Miramar Patriots offense is on the field. That means the band has sat down. Make sure they give their offense plenty of room to work with. And you talk about battle of the bands out here. You usually don't see high school, high school football teams bringing their bands out, but this band on the Patriots side is going hard just as well as the Miramar side. 7.30 on the clock. Got a pistol set. Receiver on the top and the bottom are being pressed. Give us up the middle, big hit. Defense making big things happen. They are pumped up on the field right now. Very close to the first down, but they've held them. It's gonna be fourth down and two yards and Miramar is gonna have to punt it back to Heritage and the momentum has shifted here a little bit. Clock is running, it's coming into seven minutes. And my favorite punter comes back on the field. I wish we had a roster bigger than number 25. Number 45, back on the field. Got the boot. Get the ball, get the ball, 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 ball. Almost close Peter, to being blocked. Carmelo Webster. Ball rolls down inside the 30 yard line. That's where Heritage is gonna take over the ball. Torrance Gibson brings him out. Twice he's been in. First play, threw an interception, cost him six, seven. Came back in the next series, took him down the field and scored. Next series, took him down the field and scored. Let's see, they're gonna need it. They're only down by three. 6.46 remaining in this game, Ryan, and it's a close one. 4A making a move on 8A. Yes, sir. Sampson and Goliath. Offense comes back on the field, like you said, Mr. Gibson. Back in the leadership position. Getting this game going. Hadn't seen much change in the offense. I guess just, you know, a couple players, I guess, makes a difference. Torrance gives it up the middle. Another big hole. Down to the 50, 40. He's breaking it down to the 30, down to the 20. That's a touchdown. He's gonna take it all the way to the house, number 11. From the 30 yard line, wow. 70 yards, Ryan. Absolutely. Can it be, can it be that one player can change the momentum of this game? Keyshawn Bryan takes it 70 yards, Ryan, and he takes the first American Heritage lead of the game. Wow, and Keyshawn has over 100 yards on two carries. And he did that in less than seven seconds, so 6.35 left on the clock. Sorry about that, get that camera fixed for you. Got a little action going down here in, in the stands. <laughs> we are we are in the stands, folks, and there's no room on top of the roof. There's no room in the press box. And the conversion is good, and that's going to put American Heritage on top. 30 points to 26. 
It is a one touchdown game back on Miramar's back. Again, you got fans in those stands that are bringing the, <laughs> the cameras down. There's three cameramen up front of us. And uh, you're going to see one of them go down. And that was ours, but it is back up because we are on top of things. Got a little excited up here in the stands. I got you live, Ryan. How you doing down there? It's it's getting it's getting hectic down here. Got some <laughs> young football players. The, the emotions are running high down here. It's an outstanding game. Obviously, you can see first live from the stands, and we got some great people down here. The band's going nuts. The cheerleaders are going nuts. Everyone's going nuts. Hey, American <laughs> Heritage back on the board in this game. Wow, I like that. I like that. I know they're going to be doing some up-downs this week. Woo. Got Exciting. Two, got, got some JV players out here. Got quiet on the right side of this press box. Those are Miramar coaches. We are in the heritage side. Mm -hmm. That's a nice high kick. And he stays out of the end zone. He's he right up the middle. He's busting it. Only one left is a kicker. Gets it out to the 49-yard line, and the kicker puts a kick on him. Wow. That's number 21 who's got the ball all night long. Gregory McCray. Running back. And looks like he's cramping up. Whew. Wow. There are some impact players out there tonight. Absolutely. This is exciting football. 626 remaining. It is 30 to 26. American Heritage. Plenty of time left on the clock. You got McCray just takes the kickoff. He type ropes on the goal line so it does not go in. I mean a literal type rope. And as he does that type rope, he catches it, takes it up the wedge, and there he lays. That was fast, Ryan. You were right down up there in front. You could see it. Yeah, that was real fast. There's a lot going on down here. There was, there was a lot going on down here. Not only on the field, but in the stands. Caught me off guard with everything that's going on. But once again, with just over six minutes left in this football game, the fourth quarter has brought us some excitement from this live South Florida production. And you're seeing it here, HSBN first. As you can see, number 21 walking off the field. One of our impact players of tonight. Outstanding play, not only by him just now, but McCray. throughout this game. He has been outstanding in well, this game tonight. Patriots have the ball. 626, they're down by four on their own. They're bringing it out close to the 50-yard line. This is a game, folks. Trips to the bottom side. You got single press coverage on the top. Cover three. Damari's looking to the sideline. He's audibling over to his trips down here. And the young man is showing a lot of presence. He's throwing a quick swing, and it's dropped. That's going to stop the clock. There's a late flag all the way on the other side of the ball. Tension is running high on this field right now. It was definitely unexpected with this Heritage football team coming back in well, this game. You could cut it with a knife up here in the Miramar side. It's gotten real tense. First, we get a change of quarterback from the first of the second half. Number six has done an outstanding job. It's holding on five star. The junior, the junior quarterback stepping in for the starter and doing some outstanding things putting some points on the board. Unfortunately, the momentum and the tables have turned. As you can see, Miramar Patriots are maybe losing their grip in this football game. We just got six minutes, just over six minutes left in this game with Miramar Patriots 26, Patriots of American Heritage 30. Well, number six, Damari Simpkins, junior quarterback, came in, made all the difference in the world. Uh, they're going to make a call another timeout. I'm not sure who this was, but we'll get back on that uh, that field shot. The referees are going to talk about it again. Ryan, your thoughts on uh, Ter Torrance Gibson? He came in late in the game. He was very rusty on the first play. They threw him in the game on the four-yard line. Throws a little softball out there. Um, 
What do you think Coach had to say to him when he came to the sidelines? Oh, I, I bet there was some surprise for his, for his first play from scrimmage. Um, whatever the situation may be, we uh, heard firsthand that it may be his ribs coming into this game, so I don't know if that affected his throwing abilities at all. But what he's done so far, I guess when he got over to the sideline, Coach had to remind him of the athlete, the student athlete that he is and the way he can perform because what he's done has come out here. And they haven't changed much of the offense. They're still running the same zone read. But Torrance Gibson, he hadn't taken off with the ball yet. Number 11, the running back, he's done all the work. But they're doing an outstanding job, and it's a reflection on the scoreboard tonight with 30 points. Four points just over the Patriots of Miramar. Rush, rush, rush. It's a reverse around the left-hand side. It's down to the 20-yard line. If he makes the edge, he's out at the 20. Little razzle-dazzle. Keep him honest. Coach is going in the bag of tricks. Yes, sir. You do whatever it takes at this moment. Wow. 20-yard gain. First and 10 from the 20 yard line. Six minutes, three seconds on the clock. Miramar down by four points. We got a ball game, folks. Woke them up late, but they're up now. Damari's in a pistol set. He's got single coverage on the top side being pressed. Backing off now. They've got seven men in the box. Gonna hand it right up the middle, number, I believe, number 21. Or 20. That's their workhorse. Now, 21 back in, he came out with cramps. Yeah, that's number 27 on the run. And they're they're trying to run it right up the throat of this Patriot, American Heritage Patriot defense. Like I said, time management is key at this point in the game. You don't want to leave too much, but you need enough just to get some points on the board. Uh, they score right here. It will definitely make a difference in this ball game with a one possession lead over American Heritage, but we'll see what they can come up with. Inside the 20 yard line, it's second down. Torrance is gonna do a boot, throws it across the middle, almost picked off by the linebacker. 5-11 left on the clock. Both sides of the ball. Getting close to the red zone. Stands. We got a whole section of lights out. That's why it's so dark over there. Yeah, we are going into the dark end of the field. And once again, we're going to get a touch. But we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. We're getting inside of five minutes, four point game. This game is uh, no district ramifications, but definitely can do. And the next five minutes are going to not make the season, but it's surely going to put us, uh, you know, some spin on it, Ryan. And these guys have been working hard all week. This is. Uh, this is actually Heritage's third game. You know, they had that preseason ESPN uh, 300 game because they were showcasing Torrance Gibson. And that was a hot, sunny day when Dwyer contending for national championship. And then they're coming out here to uh, West, uh, West Broward to play another 8A uh, Broward football team, which is really a game. And we'll just see what uh, the Patriots, if they can stop them. At this point, 30 to 26 heritage, but Miramar is threatening and urge up at Coral Springs Cooper City game last week, Ryan. Yeah, we did. Not only that, but that 10 yard line, he's close to the first down, Ryan. That was a little misdirection. I like that. I like that play. I'm going to give him the first down, so that's going to be a first down and goal inside the 10 yard line. And it's running the clock. We got 4.45 left in the fourth quarter. Once again, American Heritage up four points against the Miramar Patriots, 30 to 20. Still set. Damari takes the ball. He's looking to the left, and he throws it out here in the corner, and it's dropped. Very good coverage by the corner. And it was a good throw by Damari because he had nowhere else to go but throw it low and inside. Low and outside, I'm sorry. Stops the clock at 4 9. Got a twin set, single back in the backfield. Big lineman. Heritage is bringing him, ball's blocked. 
Defensive lineman blocked a big one. That was number 13 that got his hands on the ball. That's Christian Irving. That brings up a big third down play. Field goal is not going to do them any good unless they plan on getting the ball back with 4.15. They'll be still one point short. So this is a big play right now. It's third and goal, Ryan, and they've only got two shots at the end zone. Are they going to go for it on fourth down? Well, let's see what happens on third first. I think at this point, I think they might pull another rabbit out of their hat. Miramar fans are quiet. Heritage is going crazy. He bootlegs to the right-hand side. He's looking in the end zone. Nothing there. Nope. Fourth, Fourth down. down. Goal. What do you do? Well, what Got do you do? Fourth four down. minutes. Well, you brought your gun back in, Torrance Gibson. He's uh, capable of scoring from anywhere. Um, I take a... Uh, you know, you got a young guy in the game, young quarterback in the game. Definitely stepped up their game in this fourth quarter. They're getting hyped up on the sideline. I think their best bet right now. I don't, I don't know about flooding the zone with this defense. As you can tell, it didn't work just this last play. I don't know about running it. Hopefully they can hit a quick slant across the middle or something. Mari's looking to the left-hand side. He's throwing it up for a jump ball. It's in the dark. It's intercepted in the end zone. Heritage takes the interception in the end zone for the touchback. Damari threw it up for a jump ball, Ryan. I don't think that was the best decision by that quarterback. If you're going to throw a jump ball, it needs to be released as soon as the snap goes. Unfortunately, he took a little bit too much time for the play to develop. It turns into a jump ball. Really, you know, a, a situation where where any person has an opportunity, any any person has an opportunity to, to make a chance, uh, to make, you know, make a play out there. And as you could see, um, I don't think it was an interception, but uh, they knocked the ball down. Unfortunately, Miramar coming up short on this last play, given the American Heritage Patriots one last shot with just three minutes and 58 seconds left on the clock, up by four. You're getting the ball from Torrance Gibson one more time. I well, don't know about that. Well, Torrance is back. He gives it off the left-hand side. And he's oh, gonna he's going to take it around the left-hand side. He makes the edge, and he gets it out of bounds. He's going to stop the clock right short of the first down, picks up about nine yards, brings the clock inside of 350. I'm not sure if he wanted to stop the clock on that. Play two, play two, yeah, coach is getting on him right now, just reminding him, hey, you slide and get down or yep. cut it up. Don't take a hit, don't stop the clock. Exactly, save your body. In this, in this time of the game, you know, like you were saying earlier, it's still early in the season for both of these teams, but uh, a game like this could change the momentum for the entire season, especially Heritage coming off a big time loss against St. Tom Thomas Aquinas. Ooh, and a big stuff. Ooh, big number 52 putting it on the running back. A great hit, fundamentals, I love it. Came up, met him in the middle, and that running back had no shot at gaining a yard. We're gonna see a big number three on the sideline, about three, about third and, and five, we'd give him with 327 and running left on the clock. That was a big hit. They're going to call timeout. The offense is going to take a second to regroup. This is a crucial time in the game with two minutes and 58 seconds left in this game. They'd have the lead, but do they still need to put some more points on the board to seal the deal? Well, they need to certainly get a couple more timeouts, that's for sure, and it's uh, it's crunch time right now because uh, Miramar is not backing down. This is their backyard, and, and this, uh, this is a big game. Uh, not district wise, but this this is a big game to be home. This is this is their um, 
their game that they wanted to show that they uh, can play against these guys that were on uh, ESPN. You know, the guys that played against St. Thomas. Um, Coach Stroud was up in Del Rey last week. He played American Heritage already, but he played Del Rey. Now he's playing back-to-back, -back and last week got away with a seven-point victory, 14-7. to seven. Um, You know, Miramar comes in here, and they've got something to prove, and they're at home. It's a sellout. It's, it's a big game. It's definitely a, a game of pride today. You know, you got a Miramar Patriots team out here. Like you said, we're right on the border of Miami-Dade. As we're looking out over the stadium, you can see basically the, the boundary line. You got you got Miami-Dade mentality football players out here mixed in with a little Broward. Broward's got something to prove, especially this American Heritage football team. They're big time, they're a big time program, and they got big time players. Stays in bounds, cutting up well. Runs out of bounds again, though, but he gets the first down. Torrance Gibson, once again, using his feet to make something happen. One thing great about this quarterback is he's an outstanding athlete. He has all the mechanics to do basically anything out there position-wise. I mean, I, I could see him playing receiver at the next level. I could see him doing, doing a lot of things, but his feet definitely definitely separate him from the majority of quarterbacks that play in South Florida. He's the definition of a South Florida quarterback. So, obviously you all know Torrance Gibson, big time football player, ranked in the nation so within uh, some of the top players. So, all eyes are always on him. And, uh, you know, didn't get a chance to start tonight. I'm sure we'll find out later on what that was about, but this young man has definitely lived up to the expectation that has been thrown over him. And they get another shot on the ball. And they're not gonna show first down. We're gonna big, get a big number four. They're gonna try to run it out, Ryan. They must have enough time and Miramar must be out of timeouts. 248, they're gonna kneel on it. Well, Torrance Gibson's gonna go for the first down. He's gonna pile drive through there. And one second from the ref. Actually right, I'm sorry. I'm over here on the other side of the booth and from the reaction to some of the American Heritage players, it didn't look too good. Hey, let's go. We'll find out hey, in a second. The they went for it on fourth down and in inches, folks. Fourth down and in inches ready? from their own. And we got a first down conversion. The clock is gonna run, just 2.40 on the clock and it's running. Once again, if you just joined us, we got 30 points on the board for American Heritage with the ball, just four points over the 26 points that Miramar Patriots have, and we got a running clock in this game, and it's getting intense. Under two minutes and 30 seconds, and the clock is running. And once again, we see another quarterback change. Torrance Gibson takes, takes his time, get off the field, and they're gonna give it up the middle to the workhorse. Maybe took a, a beating or two. Torrance on the sideline right now. Just coming under two minutes, Ryan. And I think they're gonna put uh, Torrance back in the game. Maybe lost a helmet, maybe, you know, shoe or something like that, but they're gonna put that young man back in the game with a running clock. And uh, I think uh, unless something drastic happens at this point, it looks like American Heritage has sealed the deal with a W coming off of a tough loss from St. Thomas Aquinas. 135 and counting in the game, fourth quarter. They're gonna run it all the way down until the ball's in play and then they'll run it another 24 seconds. As much as they can get. One minute, 21 seconds and counting. They're gonna stop the clock at one minute and 19 seconds in the fourth quarter. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining in tonight with High School Football Prime Time, brought to you by Bleacher.com. This is HSPN, the South Florida District, bringing you some of the top football players, the top football teams in the entire nation. If you're looking for some football players, if you're looking for speed, if you're looking for athletes, you know where to come first because we're bringing all sports, especially this fall season, we're bringing you football live every week. Next week, Miami-Dade County, Right now, hey, time Broward out, time County. Out, Mike. Time out, Mike. Give us up the middle. No oh, read. Clock has stopped for some reason at 113. And the tension, 
As you can tell, the tension is high. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I can hear it. <laughs> I'm trying to walk away from it. 113, it's a four-point ball game. Heritage has the ball, and there's a timeout called on the field. It's uh, getting down to the nitty-gritty, and we are appreciative that you're here with us, especially those guys up at Bleacher.com, all of the, you and your fans that are watching the game. Florida Gridiron Preps. And FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com. All of your fans, we appreciate you watching. Support all of them, the best sports bloggers in South Florida. Those are the three right there. Graphics brought to you by Bleacher.com. This is High School Game Day on HSPN. High School Football Primetime, powered by HSPN. I'll tell you one thing about tonight's game. What an outstanding atmosphere this Miramar program, uh, a school overall, has really brought, has really raised the bar. Between the band, the dancers, the cheerleaders, I'm really enjoying myself out here tonight. It is a wild scene, and Miramar band hadn't given it up. It's gotten awfully quiet over here in the box. You can hear I'm in the heritage side of the box. <laughs> We're in the heritage side. It, it, it is so quiet. And we've got one minute and 13 seconds left second down Torrance is going to take it and just run back to the line of scrimmage the third down and 10 yards as the clock moves it's getting ready to move inside of one minute third down and 10 that'll make it fourth down and 10 they'll punt the ball and the Patriots of Miramar will get the ball back inside of one minute. It is 43 seconds and it's counting down. Hey, make it tight. Bring the gunners in. Bring the gunners in. And I'm not sure if, who has any timeouts left. I, I believe, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of timeouts. Uh oh. They have too many guys in the field. They have too many. Well, they're going to give the ball back. And when they give the ball back, Miramar will have one more shot at it, and I'm sure they don't have any left. Looks like we got a little dirty laundry on the field. We got some yellow flying in the air. Well, if it's a personal foul, hopefully it's not a personal foul against Miramar because if it is, it'll be an automatically first down. We've got the clock stopped at 34.2 seconds remaining. No, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. Let it run. Let it run. Punt is almost blocked. My goodness. It goes straight up. Why does he take so long? That punt didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage, folks. That is going to open it up for Miramar with 24.9 seconds left. Miramar is going to get the ball back. I don't know. 24 seconds. This could be something right here. 24 seconds is a lifetime for most of these players out there tonight. And with this momentum, uh, you've seen it here first. I mean, between American Heritage and wow. Miramar. We've had some outstanding changes in the game drastically. American Heritage coming from behind late, finally in the fourth <laughs> quarter, taking the lead. And now they're going to give the ball back to Miramar with My just goodness. 24 seconds left on the clock. And they're going to give it back to him at the 33-yard, 34-yard line to Damari, the young man, the junior. Let's see if he can pull one out. He's got an empty set. we got fans on their feet. Over here on this Miramar team. Going down to the last play. And I wouldn't be surprised if they got a couple plays out of this. Well, they have to score. They're down by four points. Scores 30 to 26. So they have to put a TD on the board to take this game. Damari, a young junior that was brought in in the first quarter. 24.9 seconds left. He has to score a touchdown. It's a four-point game. And the refs, as usual, taking their time, making sure they got everything figured out on the field. Heritage coaches are cleared out. And I'm not sure what the holdup is, but it's given, it should give them plenty of time to think about it.
They put five more seconds on the clock. It brings it to 29 seconds remaining in the game. Mari gives it. It's a pitch back. Flea flicker. He's throwing it deep to the left-hand side. The throw is low, and it's going to be a penalty. And they're going to throw the they're flag. They're going to throw the flag. It's going to be 15 yards, 21.1 seconds. The clock has stopped, Brian. They're going to put 15 yards on it. A little flea flicker. I'll tell you something. Coach Strout, their offense coordinator, I don't know who's calling the plays down there, but they got a trick. They got some rabbit, and they're pulling them out of the hat all day long. First, we see it with the reverse earlier on in the quarter, which brought him down to the field. No conversion on that play, but right now, little flea flicker, throwing it backwards, <laughs> taking it down to the end of the field, down in the darkness. Who knows what could happen right here. They just got 15 yards on a broken play. I hope you didn't leave us, folks. They're down to the 20 yard line, just inside the 20 yard line, 21.1 seconds. Let's see what the next trick play is gonna be. Damari brings him up, the junior quarterback. Can he pull a miracle out of his hat? And I believe they're going to call a timeout. Now we're going to get a timeout called by American, American Heritage. Heritage is going to use it. Slow it down. Yep. Ryan, we got a big game here. 4A against 8A. We got uh, some serious things going on. What, do you, <laughs> what are your thoughts about this game? It started out slow. I mean, the, the momentum has obviously drastically changed multiple times throughout this game. They bo Both teams came out very slow in the beginning. Uh, we could hear the coaches up here in the box. You know, they're, they're trying to feel out each other. They come out earlier on in the game. Uh, they run a lot of zone reads. They, they came out. It, it wasn't doing anything successful on their part. All it was doing was exposing what the game plan was. They made a couple changes. Uh, on the Miramar side, putting in the junior quarterback, number six, which made some huge plays and has translated into this 26 to 30 game with Heritage just four points over the Miramar Patriots. And who knows, anything could happen right now. Let's see what else they can do. If you just tuned in, the Patriots of Miramar just did a little flea flicker on the 20 yard line. And who knows what's gonna happen. After a muff punt, Boy, oh boy, big number 99 makes a huge play. He goes up. He is a big, giant tackle. Knocks the ball down, trying to throw the ball over the middle. Second down, it only took off four seconds, 18.2 seconds. Yeah, Ryan, they're down here because of a muff punt. They couldn't run the clock out. It wasn't very good clock management. But the biggest difference in the game I saw for Heritage is other than the first play Torrance Gibson came in was after that. He turned team his team around and turned it up into a 30-point game. Here we go. Two plays left. Damari's back. He's looking to his right. Wide open receiver. Just through the hands of the receiver. Tried to throw a back, looked like a back shoulder wheel route by one of the one of the wide receivers. I think he had him if he put it out just a little bit farther. Went right through his hands. Wide open. 13 seconds. You're exactly right with uh, 13 seconds and a big number three on the sideline. You got third down with 13 seconds left and a touchdown to win the football game. And it has been one heck of a football game here in South Florida tonight, folks, on this Saturday evening. Not only we, I, who knows? I don't even know what college teams are playing right now, but this game, this is the game of the week right here. I believe that. Amazing game. Young Damari. Empty set, 13 seconds, three-step drop. He steps up, throws it over the middle. Touchdown, Miramar! Are they calling it a completion? And they're calling it incomplete. incomplete. Oh, my goodness, he threw a rifle shot into the end zone. The crowd went wild, and he dropped it. One play left, Damari. Seven seconds left. 7.1 seconds. You're right, left in the game. What a game. I got goosebumps oh up here in the gosh. box. I can't believe. He Hold on like, to that camera. It looked like he caught it, but it, it fell out last. I don't know if it hit the ground. It was forced out by the ground, but that young man, I know he's feeling feeling some type of way right now with that, that game. This game is on the line right now with just seven seconds left. 
down by four points. 20 yard line, this is it, Ryan. Yes, sir. Can the Patriots pull it off from Miramar? Damari's back, three, five, in the corner. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Heritage. That is gonna be the game. No time left on the clock, 30 to 26. The Heritage Patriots came slow, brought in Torrance Gibson. I don't know about Bruce Ribs to you, Ryan. I think it's more of a little bit of attention deficit to get him to think about how he wanted to play on this team. Coach Rump kept him out. I'll, I'll listen to the sore rib story, but he brings him in, one play, turnover. After that, he puts 30 points on the board for Heritage. He takes them into this 8A school down here on the Dade County line. Heritage wins one, gets back in the win column after getting pummeled by St. Thomas. Final thoughts on this game. Absolutely, after a tough loss coming out of one of the biggest programs in the nation competing with St. Thomas Aquinas. American Heritage has done outstanding things, not only at this level, but the next level as well. If you tune in on Saturday evenings or during the day, you're gonna see guys like Sony Michelle playing at the SEC level. We're talking SEC type players out here today on both sides of the ball. And this is a great example of what it will look like at the next level. Can one man change the fate of a football team? Who knows, we're not gonna let it rest in his hands, but I'll tell you something, after a, a, a whole football game, 48 minutes, Torrance Gibson came out here and led this team down to a victory. And tonight you get to see this scoreboard, 30 to 26, American Heritage takes the win. They're going into next week with high hopes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're here live with hsbnsports.com. We wanna thank you for joining in with us this past two hours at an outstanding football game this Saturday evening. And next week, don't forget, we'll be down at Trash Pal, Ryan. They're going to shake tonight. We're going to be at Trash Pal Stadium with Booker T. Washington, defending national champions, playing Carroll City High School. This is Glenn Stout. I'm here live with Ryan Stout. Like he said, this is HSPN High School Programming Network. This is high school football primetime, powered by HSPN and produced in production with Bleacher.com. High School Game Day, HSPM Sports. We'll see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. He's going to snap, punt it. He's at the 40. He's at the 40. He's out of his feet. Oh, my God.